I try to pump and feed separately, but when I'm trying to save time, I do it at the same time. But this kid cannot get enough of kicking the bottle. Do you like kicking mama's bottle? It's such a little stinker. All right, bud, are you gonna tell him or am I? A few weeks ago, we were super excited because all of a sudden out of nowhere, Jensen seemed to excel in everything he was doing. Sitting up, rolling, all that good stuff. And then boom, just like that, the past week or so, he just doesn't want anything to do with it. He doesn't want to be on his tummy. Playing on his back is pretty limited. Trying to sit up, forget about it because he was just throwing himself backwards. We tried to work through it. I tried to like let him fall and maybe cry it out a little bit, but no, just nothing. We seem like we're in a decent mood today. So let's see if we can give it a whirl and if not, then I'll show you what he's been doing. Luckily, we have physical therapy tonight. I'm excited to ask them what they think or if he's just going through his own little mood swing and just doesn't want to do anything. The weird part is that we'll put him in his crib and he'll play around and have fun in there. Yeah, okay, less talk and more do. We brought out his pack and play with just to see if maybe he just liked being in that confined space. It kind of worked for a second. Okay, let's try. Let's try tummy time. Okay, buddy, mommy's putting you on your belly. There we go. Do you want to feel the puppy? Can you feel the puppy? There you go. Feel the puppy. There you go. There's the puppy. No? Okay. Let's try tummy again. Tummy. Yeah. You want to try kicking your piano? Mommy's grabbing your piano. We're going to put it under your toes. I think Mama needs to replace the batteries. Mommy's picking you up. Good job. Here, let's try your guitar. No? Let's try your drums. Okay, but you gotta sit up. Are your drums? This is exactly how our week has been. Just basically wants cuddles, and even this he'll try to like, you know, run off me and mountain climb and push away. I don't know what the deal is. So we like this and our swing, and that's about it. Aren't kids just so much fun? You guys, there's just so much fun. Oh, yep, there we go. You're pushing away. Where are you trying to go, bud? Okay. Another thing I've noticed is he's just so completely sleepy lately. It seems like he's taking so many naps throughout the day. He's barely awake and he barely wants to play. Let's try the swing. He does have two teeth completely through on the bottom row. I don't know if there's more coming in. I don't know if that's why he's just been so grumpy. Maybe he's growing. I don't know. just like that he's back to sleep i don't know what this whole i don't want to do anything and just nap and eat thing is uh, i guess i'll just utilize it and try to get a workout in and then maybe we can go outside because it is beautiful out all right kids let's go get a workout in Since he did not actually nap, I'll probably change him, feed him, and I didn't do any cardio, and it is so freaking nice outside, finally, that I think I'm gonna try out my new running stroller, and we're gonna go for a run, which is gonna be so questionable because A, I'm out of shape as far as running goes, especially, and B, pushing a stroller while running, that's gonna be a new experience, and C, where I'm going, I know there are hills, so that's gonna be great, but you know what? I'm so excited, I've been waiting for this moment, let's do it.
I ended up taking a four mile walk with grandma that day with our normal stroller. However, the next day we got to utilize our running stroller and break out that bad boy. I ran a little over three miles and it was hilly, it was windy. Talk about resistance training, that was killer. Hey guys, I just got back from a run. I'm in a really big rush because I'm trying to warm up milk for Jensen, but I'm also gonna make myself a coffee slash protein shake because I am starving, but I don't have enough time to make myself something because he's hungry and he's my main priority. So kind of doing a recreation of a banana foster latte that I've had at our local coffee shop that I absolutely love. And I'm not gonna claim that this is exactly like it because it's not, I tried it the other day, but I have a good way to mix your coffee with your protein shake. Especially if you're someone like me that does not like to drink their coffee black, this is a good substitute that's healthy and that gets your protein in for the day. Okay, so first I have my coffee that I brewed. My newest obsession is oat milk in my coffee. Oh my gosh, can't get enough of it. I'll put a little bit of oat milk into my blender cup with the coffee. I typically put the cold oat milk into it, but I did warm mine up because I'm really cold after my run. It was super windy out there. Cold milk in the blender is fine. I then put some protein powder. Today I'm gonna use Combat. You can get this at Costco. Um, this is cookies and cream. This is gonna be a really weird combination. In the past, I've used the Vanilla Milkshake Quest. Well, it's just like a vanilla latte. Today's a hodgepodge. We're gonna go with it. I just do half a scoop of the protein powder. All right, here comes the weird part. I'm gonna put some banana in there. I would have liked to use room temperature banana, but this is frozen. Never done that. We'll see how it goes. Put that on there. Best part about doing coffee in a blender cup with a little bit of milk and maybe some protein powder is besides it being healthy, it comes out extremely frothy like a normal latte. So this really feels like a treat. All right, we're gonna roll with the punches today and just kind of see what we can get done. I'm gonna start cooking some spaghetti squash lasagna. It is amazing, so I highly recommend it. And it's healthy and it just fills you up and you can, I mean, it's guilt free, right? Yeah. I got a little ahead of myself and I got my spaghetti squash. I poked some holes in it with a fork. Now it's in the microwave for five minutes. That'll kind of help me be able to scoop the seeds out. I then preheat my oven for 400 degrees. As soon as the spaghetti squash is out of the microwave, microwave, I'll cut it in half lengthwise and scoop the seeds out. Good job, Jen. <laughs> I did not cut that evenly whatsoever. Do as I say, not as I do. I just took that out of the microwave so it's a little hot. I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit before I scoop the seeds out. Spray your pan with oil. Spray them with oil. Season with salt or pepper. Put the squash face down. And that goes into the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. Mine is a smaller spaghetti squash this time around, so I'm gonna do 30. While the squash is cooking, we're gonna mix together one cup of ricotta cheese, but I use cottage cheese because it's just a little bit healthier one third cup of Parmesan cheese, half a tablespoon of Italian seasoning, one lemon squeezed. Guys, don't skip out on the lemon. I'm telling you, I've used the kind that comes in the little plastic bottle and I've used a fresh lemon and the fresh lemon is such a big difference. Good job, bud. And we'll mix this together, won't we, Jensen? Someday when you're old enough, you'll be able to help me. We're gonna turn the stove to medium high heat. We'll do a little bit of olive oil. It calls for a yellow onion, and I already have some red onion cut up. I would prefer to use yellow, but my hands are full and I have to use this onion up anyway. So we're just gonna kind of hodgepodge it. I'm all about the hodgepodge life. It also calls for one fourth cup of onion. I like onion, so I'm just gonna throw in whatever I have here. And then it calls for three cloves of garlic. I am just using minced garlic. Add my onions here. I really like garlic, so I'm gonna add quite a bit of garlic. I think it's time for this kid. Let's try to put this kid in his crib. He seems a little sleepy. Nope, he's wide awake. We'll see if maybe he wants to play in there. Go boy, into your crib, into your crib. Here we go. And his nap time sounds. 
That is his nighttime sound. And that is his nap time sound. My onions! But even though Jensen was clearly not going to sleep yet, just been in this mood of not wanting to do a dang thing. And he's actually really enjoyed his time in his crib. Like he'll just play in there. I think the other day he was in there for like an hour and a half just talking to himself. And we feel bad like he's not interacting with us or toys, but he's being happy, he's entertaining himself. And we talked to physical therapy about that. And maybe it's that his room is a little bit more echoey. He has the crib wall. So just hearing himself talk a little bit more, it's a little bit more quiet. Maybe he's just entertaining himself with finding his voice. It's really fun though. I love sneaking in there and just listening to him, watching him. Simmer your onions and garlic for as long as it takes to get the onions a little translucent. I'm gonna add ground turkey. We will cook this for about six to eight minutes or until it's about fully cooked. Our meat's ready to go. I just turned it down to very low because we're just gonna wanna simmer from here. We're gonna add eight ounces of marinara. Our spaghetti squash is ready. A good way to test it is taking a fork and piercing it. If it's easily pierced, then it's ready. Oh, oh yeah, that's definitely ready. Let that simmer for five to 10 minutes. We're gonna flip these over and let them cool for a little bit. Using a fork, we're gonna shred the spaghetti squash into the little strands. Add the strands to the cottage cheese and lemon mixture. We're gonna mix this together. And this is when you would throw in some spinach. I don't have any, unfortunately. This is another recipe where you can add in a ton of spinach and it's not gonna be like overwhelming. You could do two to three cups of spinach because it wilts down once it's baked. What you're supposed to do is, and what I've done in the past, is you're supposed to add your spaghetti squash cottage cheese mixture back into your boats here. Since I did not cut them evenly, the one boat is just severely wilted and sad looking. I'm gonna put everything into a casserole dish instead. We're gonna add our meat sauce on top. Then we're gonna add half a cup of mozzarella cheese back into the oven for about 10 minutes or until the cheese is melted. Piece of resistance. We're going to toast some panko breadcrumbs, medium high heat, one tablespoon of olive oil, one fourth cup of panko crumbs. We're gonna let this sit for two to three minutes and then we're gonna flip it over for another minute or two and add a little lemon zest. Ingredients not to skip out on is lemon, fresh lemon and basil, fresh basil. It makes this so good. And I did not make this soon enough because my basil is all natural and wilted. That is so disappointing because this seriously makes the dish amazing. Voila, we have a amazing dish for little calories and it fills you up. I gotta wrap this up, we got an angry baby. But my calculation, I added everything into a calorie tracker and I got 372 calories with the recipe that I use for a serving and I usually have about six servings. On Pinterest, it says about 700 something calories, but um, I do make some adjustments to what kind of cheese and low fat and all that good stuff. So, all right, I will show you it when I eat it later, but we gotta take care of my kid. We have a silly baby. Is Jensen a silly baby? This kid's finally asleep and I'm gonna get going with the rest of my day. I am also on Instagram at life underscore with underscore nori underscore disease. Please look us up there. I do a little bit more of my working out on that. As always, please, please, please like and subscribe to our channel. Share our story. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell anyone else that might have a child with special needs. We always love hearing from other people. We highly encourage you to ask us your questions and comment below. All right guys, we'll see you next week. Yeah. <laughs>